what do you believe Britain's role should be in this? And as far as you can see so far, do you think that Britain is living up to it? Well, I think, you know, very early on, I mean, this is a devastation that will impact any country. I mean, it's it's so immense in terms of infrastructure, including schools, hospitals have been flattened. And so many of our diaspora communities are clearly, clearly worried. And of course, the UK response has been to disperse uh, 77 rescue and service personnel with their equipment. And that was the right thing to do. And of course, medical aid teams, because we needed to assess, uh, you know, the impact of those that were being recovered. And of course, on day one of the deck appeal, the British public have just so shown so much generosity by raising 30 million on day one. And the government has said, it will, of course, match five million. But I think the worrying situation, as Martin Griffiths has highlighted, and rightly so, is in that northwest Syria, that one border crossing that existed. We saw very early on that that was disrupted and then it was reopened. And this has always been, um, you know, weaponized in terms of aid delivery. But there are millions and millions of people who face 12 years of that brutal conflict in Syria. They cannot be forgotten. 90% of those were already reliant on humanitarian aid, even before the earthquake. So uh, there's a cholera outbreak. The freezing weather makes this very, very challenging. So in Syria, there's a crisis really within a crisis and what we need to see. And of course, the UN are trying to negotiate. We've got to use our seat on the UN Security Council is that we've got to be pushing for more border crossings. Now, there were four in 2021 that were closed. So, uh, uh, you know, Bab al Hawa was the only border crossing we had. This makes it really challenging because, of course, there's been devastation on both sides. And the second part of this, um, you know, rec uh, sort of phase is, is absolutely going to be making sure that we are treating those people that have survived and medical health needs are going to be really, really uh, important going forward. But when Martin Griffiths uh, said that the people were being failed by the international community, what, what do you think he meant by that? Because what you've just put your finger on is, you know, a failure by authorities on the ground. In what sense has the international community failed Turkey and Syria? Well, they failed because, of course, we have a seat on the UN Security Council. We should be negotiating. You've got to, of course, the UN's been negotiating with Syria. We've got to have more border crossings. We cannot just have one crossing that absolutely reaches the people um, of Syria. And then, of course, it's about making sure aid goes to everyone in Syria. At the moment, it's it's down to the Syrian government to decide where that aid goes. And of course, they won't want that to be going into opposition-led areas. And so there's got to be conversation had coming together of the international community to absolutely be clear why they need these extra border crossings, why we need to make sure aid is going to have to get through. Because, of course, the next phase is absolutely going to be around uh, a wide-scale emergency shelter uh, construction that's going to be really crucial for the coming weeks and months. Of course, none of this can happen if you can't get aid uh, across the border. And the White Helmets are absolutely right. Whilst the government has pledged some money for them, let's not forget that Syria has faced huge amounts of cuts and country officers were being asked by this government to consider 30 percent of cuts. Now, we need to know from our own government what on earth it's, it's now saying to uh, country officers, because, of course, at this time, this is not the time to be sort of retreating and holding back aid. We need to be making sure that the right um, resources are getting to the people where they need them. And that means that we've got to convene other allies and partners together to absolutely come together on some clear parameters of how we work with the Syrian government to make sure that aid flows through to the very people that need it.